Although it's hard to imagine, players like Phil Ivey, Dan Negreanu, and Doyle Brunson were all newbies once upon a time in big buy-in tournaments. What's up guys, I'm Christian at for Card Player TV, and this is the beginning of a strategy series on deep stacked multi-day premiere events. We're going to walk you through each stage of a tournament like this and get advice from seasoned pros. The first part of the series is pre-tournament strategy. We talked to John Friedberg and asked him when he would advise players to get to the tournament area. Yeah, I think it's important to um, to get here, you know, not necessarily like so early where you're pacing around waiting for the tournament to start, but not after it starts because, I don't know, I find that myself when I get here and the tournament's already started, I'm rushing to my seat. I feel like, um, you know, maybe I missed out on a few hands and my stack's a little shorter than everybody else. Realistically, it doesn't make a difference with the, you know, forty or $50,000 starting stack, but just psychologically, I like to be here when everything starts, and that way I kind of feel like I'm, I'm you know, on par with everybody else and not, you know, lagging behind them, so to speak. Getting to a tournament early allows you to take a look at your table draw, and Friedberg tells us the types of things he's observing to get an edge at the table even before the tournament starts. Well, initially, um, I'm, I'm basically just trying to get a sense for, you know, what the style of players are going to be at the table and, you know, understand what my position is relative to those players, who I want to stay away from, who I want to maybe try to pick on. Um, you know, and I'll be really observant early on just to get a sense for how people, you know, whether people are playing loose, whether they're playing tight, whether they're bluffing, whether they're not, and, you know, whether they're scared, whether it's their first event or they've been in many events, mm -hmm. and just kind of try to use that to my advantage, you know, just to have a knowledge about whether I should get involved with them or not get involved with them, with or without real hands. One of the players Friedberg doesn't have to lose sleep about or possibly having to battle with early in a tournament is Phil Helmuth. He usually has other things to do than show up on time. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, I showed up like Monday, five everybody. hours and 45 <laughs> minutes one? late. And I think that, you know, I got up, I knew they'd put my chips down at 3.30. Mm -hmm. And I got up around 2.30 and I just was so tired I fell back to sleep. So I probably slept 14 or 15 hours. You know, I mean, I just, I don't know, I've been a little bit tired. I've been playing on the internet at Ultimate Bet every day, and I've been winning big every day for 10 days, so at Limit Hold. So I've been a little bit tired, you know, it takes a little energy. That's it for part one on pre-tournament strategy. Check back on Card Player TV for part two, early tournament strategy. I'm Christiana for Card Player TV.